Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, imagine you're sitting there with your Steam Deck, the little powerhouse that's primarily designed to bring the vast library of Steam games right into your hands, anywhere you go. But what if, instead of your favorite AAA games, you wanted a slice of apple pie? Well, some tech-savvy tinkerers have made that dream a reality by running Mac OS Catalina on their Steam Deck. Is it practical? Well, that depends, but it sure makes for one interesting experiment. The grand architect of this hack is a YouTuber named Metrobyte. And, let's just say, this isn't his first time going down the uncharted road of outrageous OS experiments. He previously squeezed Windows 95 onto a Nintendo 3DS, yes, you heard that right, and he's taken his mad skills to the Steam Deck with Mac OS Catalina as his target this time around. Running an Apple OS on a device that's designed to maximize Steam gaming, it's as bizarre as it is brilliant. Welcome back to Retro Pocket. If you enjoy what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing content. The journey to a Mac OS Steam Deck. So how did Metrobyte pull off this Mac OS magic? First, he had to strip down the Steam Deck's original Steam OS setup. Think of it as telling your Steam Deck, hey, I know you're here for gaming, but let's do something a little different. This wasn't just a simple install and go. He had to deal with numerous glitches and hiccups along the way. Installing macOS on the Steam Deck was like trying to get a square peg into a round hole, and then rotating it 90 degrees. No, really. The macOS interface runs permanently tilted to the left on the Steam Deck's landscape display, which just adds to the weird charm of this project. Now, if you're picturing yourself running around in Steam Deck macOS like you would on your MacBook, well, hold that thought. This isn't a perfect setup by any means. Many of the Steam Deck's core functions just aren't built with macOS in mind. It's a bit like trying to bake a cake with a pizza oven. Doable, but expect some burnt edges. And if you're hoping to multitask between gaming and using Mac apps, think again. Mac OS Catalina on a Steam Deck is more of a let's see if it works experiment than a flawless experience. Why Mac OS on a Steam Deck? The power of the experiment. Running Mac OS on the Steam Deck is less about practicality and more about pushing the boundaries of tech and asking, what if? And it's not just Metrobyte who's dived into this rabbit hole. Other users on Reddit and various tech forums have been sharing their own experiences, using methods like SteamOS VirtualBox to emulate macOS Catalina on the handheld. This approach, though functional, does come with a few quirks. Boot times can be long, taking between two to four minutes to load the system, and animations aren't always the smoothest. It's a bit like putting training wheels on a Harley. It works, but it's not exactly built for speed. Yet for some tech lovers, that's the whole appeal. Software modifications have always held a certain allure for those who love to tinker, whether it's rooting Android devices or jailbreaking iPhones. Running macOS on non-Apple hardware or turning a game console into a tiny Mac is part of a long tradition of users reshaping their devices to suit their needs or just for fun. So if you're someone who lives for these tech challenges, then you'll likely find joy in seeing how well macOS can run on a Steam Deck, quirks and all. From gaming machine to pocket-sized Mac, the practicality factor. If you're wondering if you should turn your Steam Deck into a mini MacBook replacement, here's where we start to get real. The Steam Deck is a gaming console through and through, designed to handle titles like Elden Ring and Cyberpunk 2077 with ease. It's powered by an AMD CPU and GPU with 16 GB of RAM, which makes it a beast for gaming. Running Mac OS on this machine, however, can be like asking a seasoned boxer to take up ballet. Technically possible? Sure. Comfortable? Not really. The performance on Catalina is limited, with some choppy animations and delayed responses. It's nothing like the smooth experience you get on a dedicated MacBook or iMac. And while Metrobyte got the impressive Logic Pro to run on his Steam Deck, even hooking up a keyboard and playing some tunes, it's more of a proof of concept than a practical everyday setup. But hey, hats off to him for getting it up and running. And let's not forget that macOS Catalina isn't even the latest Apple operating system. With Catalina, you're missing out on some of the more recent features from macOS Big Sur or Monterey, not to mention support for 32-bit apps is gone. So if you're someone who relies on those older classic apps, you're out of luck here. But if you're merely interested in seeing a Steam Deck flex its versatility, Catalina does the job, sort of. Hey, if you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to smash that like button and while you're at it, hit subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss out on our latest awesome content. Is it really worth running macOS on a Steam Deck? After hearing all the ups and downs of this experiment, the big question remains, 
Should you run macOS on the Steam Deck? Well, if you're a tech enthusiast with a soft spot for retrofitting devices, or just someone looking for a conversation starter, then go for it. There's definitely a sense of accomplishment in making something work on hardware that was never designed for it. Plus, if you're willing to overlook the sideways display and occasional lag, it's a fun little project to try. But for everyday practicality, not so much. Steam Deck shines with SteamOS, letting you seamlessly access your library of games with optimized controls and quick load times. Switching over to macOS is like bringing a butter knife to a fencing match. You're technically equipped, but not exactly ready for the task. So if you're using your Steam Deck as a dedicated gaming device, it's best to stick with SteamOS or even Windows if you're after a different flavor. At the end of the day, the Steam Deck was built with gaming in mind. Mac OS might look fancy on it, but it's clear this OS isn't its natural habitat. For the diehard fans who just can't resist, go for it. But for those looking to make the most of their Steam Deck's capabilities, your time and battery life is likely better spent elsewhere. Is this the future of modding? Seeing Mac OS run on the Steam Deck begs a bigger question. Are we moving toward a future where operating systems are as flexible as the devices they run on? It's interesting to think about, but for now, running macOS on a handheld gaming console is more of a fun curiosity than a game changer. Metrobyte and others like him are part of a community that constantly tests the boundaries of tech. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see a gaming device that can flawlessly run any OS. For now though, if you're curious and want to try something out of the ordinary, putting macOS on your Steam Deck is an entertaining experiment that will definitely turn heads. But if you're just here to enjoy the Steam Deck's real potential, keep it where it thrives playing games. Thanks for watching. And hey, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, because who knows what kind of tech experiments we'll be diving into next.